Season 2 of Reasonable Doubt, a gripping two-part premiere. Reasonable Doubt is back with a bang. The first two episodes of Season 2 offer a roller coaster of emotions, intense drama, and complicated legal dilemmas. Titled, Can I Live? and Say Hello, asterisk asterisk these episodes dive straight into the complexities of Jax's life as she juggles personal trauma, marital discord, and a deeply personal legal case. If you thought season 1 was thrilling, season 2 is already setting up to be an emotional and dramatic powerhouse. Hash 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 episode 1, Can I Live? The season opener, Can I Live? plunges us back into the life of Jax played by M.I.F.C. Corinildi, who is trying to manage her own trauma while helping her close friend, Chanel, navigate the murky waters of the legal system. From the opening scenes, we see that Chanel has killed her husband, Tucker, and Jax rushes to her side. The twist, Tucker's death may not be as straightforward as a case of self-defense. While Chanel claims she acted in self-defense after years of abuse, as the episode unfolds, we're left wondering if there is more to the story. Jax's return to work is not without hesitation. She's been dealing with the fallout from season 1's traumatic events, and her relationship with her husband, Louis McKinley Freeman, is hanging by a thread. They're living in a sort of limbo, Louis sneaks in and out of the house, but there's no intimacy or real connection between them anymore. Jax, in the midst of this personal chaos, has chosen to take on Chanel's case, even though she is still emotionally fragile and struggling with whether she is ready to return to work. But with Chanel's life on the line, Jax feels a sense of duty and loyalty to her friend. From the legal standpoint, the case is far from simple. The police investigation raises some red flags. Chanel waited two hours to call the authorities after Tucker's death and moved his body, which brings her claims of self-defense into question. Jax, ever the fierce advocate, insists on helping Chanel but also struggles with her personal feelings about returning to work and the overwhelming pressure of juggling her home life. The episode expertly balances the tension between Jax's professional and personal worlds, showing how intertwined and fraught they've become open black lens bracket 8 source close black lens bracket open black lens bracket 9 source close black lens bracket. Hash 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 episode 2, say hello. In, say hello, asterisk asterisk things heat up even further. Jax's return to the legal world is marked by tension, not just with the case but with a new addition to the team, Corey Cash played by Morris Chestnut. Corey's focus on domestic violence cases and his approach to Chanel's defense immediately creates friction with Jax. While Corey is determined to control public perception of Chanel as a victim, Jax has her reservations, especially when Corey's strategies seem to sideline her own instincts and approach. This tension adds an extra layer to the drama, especially as we see Jax trying to maintain control over a case that is deeply personal for her. Corey's entrance into the series brings a new energy to the show. He's charismatic and competent, but his style is much more aggressive than Jax's, creating a clash that could potentially lead to explosive consequences. Meanwhile, Chanel's situation grows more complicated. While she admits to killing Tucker, her emotional state and the conflicting evidence make it unclear whether she acted purely out of self-defense or if there's more to the story. Corey's legal maneuvering to change public perception of Chanel paints her as the classic victim, but as more details about her relationship with Tucker come to light, we're left to question just how innocent she is. The theme of domestic violence takes center stage in this episode, not just in Chanel's case but also through Corey's advocacy. He's determined to highlight the plight of women wrongfully imprisoned for defending themselves against their abusers. While this makes Corey a compelling character, it also sets him at odds with Jax, who isn't convinced that his aggressive legal tactics are the best approach open black lens bracket 9 source close black lens bracket open black lens bracket 10 source close black lens bracket. Hash 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 Jax's struggles, professional versus personal. One of the most compelling aspects of these first two episodes is how they portray Jax's internal struggle. She's not just a lawyer fighting for her client, she's a woman trying to piece her life back together after personal trauma. Her relationship with Lewis continues to deteriorate, with therapy sessions highlighting how disconnected they've become. In one particularly raw moment, Lewis reveals that he's been with another woman, a revelation that throws yet another wrench into their already fractured relationship. Despite these issues, Jax tries to keep it all together, showing viewers just how complicated balancing work and personal life can be. Jax's decision to return to work, despite all her personal struggles, speaks to her driven nature. But it also raises an important question, is she sacrificing her own well-being for the sake of her professional obligations? Jax's emotional state is precarious, and it's clear that the pressure of handling Chanel's case is only adding to her burdens. 
The show brilliantly explores how personal trauma can affect even the strongest of people, and Jax's arc in these first two episodes leaves us wondering whether she can truly handle it all. Hash 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 Chanel's motives. Is she innocent? The central mystery of the season so far revolves around Chanel's motives. Did she kill Tucker in self-defense, or is there a darker reason behind his death? While the show initially paints Chanel as the classic victim of domestic abuse, cracks in her story begin to show. The fact that she waited to call the police and tampered with the crime scene raises significant doubts about her innocence. As Jax digs deeper into the case, it becomes clear that Tucker wasn't just an abusive husband, he was also a wealthy and powerful man, which complicates things. The show hints at financial motives, as Tucker's wealth and the way Chanel handled his money come into question. These details add layers of complexity to the case, making it more than just a simple matter of self-defense. And with Corey's aggressive defense strategy clashing with Jax's more cautious approach, the case is poised to take some interesting twists as the season progresses open black lens bracket 10 source close black lens bracket open black lens bracket 11 source close black lens bracket. Hash 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 what do you think? With so much happening in just the first two episodes, it's clear that Reasonable Doubt Season 2 is setting up for an intense and dramatic season. What do you think about Jax's decision to return to work despite her personal issues? And do you believe Chanel's story, or do you think there's more to her motives? Share your thoughts in the comments, let's get the conversation started.